Hey guys, welcome back to episode 20. Is it episode 20? Because today I'm feeling I need to discuss about GBPUSD. The reason why I love discussing GBPUSD, I think this is episode 19. Well, we are not yet episode 20. We are episode 19. The reason why I love discussing GBPUSD because it's one of the major peers. And once you know the direction of GBPUSD, you're able to know what the market will do. So allow me to discuss this moment because once you know where GBP is this going every pound pair is um is uh affected by GBP USD. so let's get into it so if you are a lower time frame trader i know you have been having hard time trading GBP USD because it's buying and then it's selling like it's um it's not decided what the market wants to do so last week it was a very strong sell this week is a strong buy and that's what happens when you know you are, are a, when you are a short term or lower time frame trader. Sometimes you are tossed up and down. So let me show you how we might trade GBP USD. I was checking on the monthly time frame, and I, I remember doing a video and telling you guys that um, we have this double top. There's this double top that we can see clearly. There's the double top that we can see. All of us, you can see that double top that has broken neckline. So basically, GBP USD is a, a long-term sell, a long-term sell, but the retracement can change from retracement to reversal. That's the problem with many retracement. Sometimes the market might retrace, and in the process of retracing, the, the price can reverse. So at this moment, I don't know if GBP USD has taken a reversal a direction or has taken is still a retracement. So what I'm trying to say is that we are considering, for me, I'm considering that big push. And it has like started back in October last year. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For nine months, the market has been doing the retracement. And you see the problem now with the, this kind of a retracement, it can continue and all of a sudden can change to be a reversal. So we are not actually sure that because of this double top and because of breaking the neckline, like we are not so sure that, oh, this market will buy or it will sell, or we are not that sure. Now, how to trade this uh, pattern? Because I've already done a detailed video you can go through because this video I don't want it to be uh, long. What you can do as we are waiting for this month to close, Today is 13. So we have another like 13, 15, almost like um, two, three weeks for this candle to close. As we are waiting for the candle to close to know what is our fate on this chart. So as we're waiting for this candle to close, because we have a possible double bottom and you know we can put um, that box there, the WBB strategy. And we, as we are waiting for this box to break this month, this is how we can trade GBPUSD. We can see clearly that the same double top is on weekly. You can see in the weekly gave a sell long time ago, like three weeks ago, the sell was confirmed on weekly. Now, on daily, something interesting is happening. So we are, in a, we are on the same page that GBPUSD long term uh, might be a sell if that retracement would continue. And now this is a daily time frame. Daily time frame, what is happening is that we have a very big, uh, we have this high over here, and this might be the savior of the day. This alone can act, can be activated to be a double top, a possible double top that now can give us an early entry as we are waiting for the week, for the monthly candle to do what? For the monthly candle to close. So this double bottom, if it is, if it follows our guidelines, I am not seeing why we should not trade it. So this is a possible double top. I'm not, I'm just showing you how you might trade a pattern when, as we are waiting for the biggest um, uh, confirmation. So even if we enter on this double top, in back in our minds, we know unless monthly confirms, there's no way we can say, oh, we're on a sell, we are on a long-term sell. It's just that we need to see that entry. And you can see, that is our half. This is our neckline. So what I want you to do as you're watching this video, open your GBP USD. Let me tell you how you learn. You learn by practicing. Don't just watch when you're idle, when you're not doing anything. If you have a laptop, 
pause and do exactly as I'm saying. So if you if you're watching via your phone, you can pause and then you can go to trading view. Make sure you go through uh, every step with me so that it might be it might sink <laughs> it might sink with you. So um, mark your zones, mark your neckline, mark your half and your double top. Now, so we have our half and we have our double top. Now, the only way we can trade this uh, double top, first of all, you can you can notice the market broke a uh, very strong resistance that has been tested one, two, and then at that time the market broke that resistance. What I want us to wait, we wait for this activation. Let's wait for the activation of that double top activation of that double top, because once the double top has been activated, now we are on our upper hand to wait, to do WBB, wait for red candle, check if it's bearish engulf, if not WBB. So I think when now that activation has happened, because this market is starts to sell, we don't have uh, much uh, reason to continue selling with it because the, the monthly time frame is what that is blocking us to enter. Because as you can see, this sell, was once uh, a double top and the market gave us and then it came back. This happens when monthly or weekly time frame has not aligned. So the only way we can now start trading fresh GBPUSD if they tap and they activate. And I don't think it's many pips from where the price is. I don't know, maybe by the time you're watching this, this video, they'll have activated. So if you're watching this video and you check the activation has happened, you will go and type it has activated. If you're watching this video and um, the bid, the WB has happened, where you find this video, that's where you will post. If this uh, trade did what you wanted, if it is sold, if you watch it after one month, two months, one year, and you go back, because I will even tell you which month was this. This is month of June 2023. So even if you're watching this video after one month, after two months, after six months, after one year, maybe you will be watching this video next year, 2024. In the um, next year, 2024, maybe in the month of June, it will be one year. You go back, just go back. Back test. This is what we call back testing. You have to go back, even if you're watching this, because let me tell you, forex data does not change as much as you think. It's our psychology, it's our emotions, it's uh, the behavior. It asks, we are the ones who change, but the forex charts, they don't change per se. If it's a double top, is that it's a red candle that's a bullish and bearish and those candles don't change the way they behave. So if, when you're watching this video, because I know this video will help many people, if you're watching and it is two years, you'll go back to 2023, the month of June, and you check out and you tell me down in the comment section, that what did this market do? Because at the end of the day, we want this market to approach to here. They activate. Once they activate, we get WBB, we get a red candle, we check it's very shengal. If not, we put a box. Once the market breaks, we have we start now having a very big sell. If the market now comes around the, our neckline and the month of June is closing, what do you think will happen? Where our neckline is, that's where this green candle will have engulfed. Do you think if we have an engulfing candle, the market will not go back to the half of the biggest uh, this double top? Let, let us measure the half of this double top. So that's what I'm saying. If you'll be watching this video in one year, two years, we need you need to comment down below and tell us, do you think the market reached 1.15111? And I know data in Forex is not, data in Forex does not uh, change as much as our emotions. So that's what I want us to understand. Will the market ever reach 1.15, 1.15? Once we have an, an entry on monthly, will our market ever reach here? Do you know how many pips are those? From the distance above here, if we can only get an entry, if we can only get an entry, what? That's a thousand pips. So, yeah, that's what you can say. So the only thing that now it is holding us back, first thing first, activation. Once activation is 58 pips to activation. Once activation is done, we'll come here and do WBB. So you know the three signals uh, for the WBB. Number one, wait for 
uh, green red candle, number two chick with berry shengaf, number three, if not WBB. So WBB is when we put a box. Okay, so that is for GBPUSD. Hope we will uh, get an entry on GBPUSD. I've been waiting for it because imagine last month I was here waiting for the for the monthly candle to close very well, but it never even engulfed. This is what I was waiting. When the month was there at the neckline, it was almost engulfing the red. Can you see? So if we, the last month, if we got an engulf, this market could not have gone up. So now this is the second month I'm waiting. I'm hoping by the end of June, we'll have an entry even using monthly time frame so that we can enter sale and hold and hold and hold. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have understood how to trade as we are waiting for the monthly candle to give confirmation. The lower time frame can start giving us patterns and we can start entering, but putting in mind that this is not a trade to hold for long because the monthly time frame has not aligned. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Love you.